Zevin Faust, Adam Brace. Selesnia Company, Rakdos Transmogrify. Let's see if we can break that record from the previous round. Land War Elves is a great <laughs> way to start. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe that was up against Is It, where Thalia yeah. just kind of ran away. <laughs> Rakdos Transmogrify is going to have a lot more removal, and they get to put a giant creature into play. Game one, it is Valgavoth. Maybe there's uh -huh. other creatures you can have. Postboard oh, doesn't look like it, so... Velgavoth is going to be near impossible to attack through. Yeah. So if Adam's able to assemble the combo of Transmogrify plus a token, it's probably going to win. Yeah. I mean, let's see if that happens. Yep. I mean, Rakdos Transmogrify hasn't really had an excellent time thus far. So uh, we will be hoping to see something cool then. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so far the Transmogrify deck has definitely been the deck that has not really performed as well as people thought you were going to. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, know. I'd be interested to chat to Adam and find out like how his wins have actually gone if it has been through Transmogrify, which is like, cool, I'm going to just get a massive demon down and... Yeah, it you it know. just it just hasn't had a very good win percentage so far. It, it maybe seemed like a little bit of the cool thing to be doing <laughs> and didn't perform as well as uh, maybe a lot of people thought, including myself. I thought the deck looked really good, but hasn't uh, played out as strong. You know, needless yeah. to say, Adam is here, so it can't be doing yeah. that bad. 12 and 2 are both of these players. Winner here is in. Yeah. Top 8. Yep, absolutely. There could be some kind of uh, tiebreaker sweats for our other matches, but not for here. If you go to 13 and 2, uh, gonna be set. All right, we got a Lana War Elf here that just hit the battlefield. Elvish Mystic, whatever. It's the same thing. This deck it does. Is, yeah. This deck gets to play eight elves, which is incredible. <laughs> um, it's this plus Mono Green that gets to have access to and utilize eight elves. And uh, now I get to take a look at the hand here. What else we got? Anointed Peacekeeper. We've got uh, our cute little endearing friend, Enduring Innocence. Yep. Draws cards plenty. Also have the Skycliff Apparition and Kellen. Yeah, Kellen. Haven't seen that card pop up too much, but One a of powerful Kellen's effect. Many, many variants. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And we see this deck from Zevin uh, where you really want to be going one to three. Yeah. It's a collected company deck, so you're going to have very little ones, just the elves, and then trying to go straight to converted mana cost to three, and then yeah. ideally playing collected company uh, as soon as possible. Here comes our little sheep. It's so cute. I love the art on this. Yeah, it's very good. And you know what's really good about this card? Huh. It's not a once per turn. So whenever you have a little idiot enter the battlefield, you're getting a card. Yeah. All your critters are cantrips. And if it does die, just being able to still have that ability, <laughs> I mean, it is really good. If you can do that into Collected Company, yeah. game on. Oh, that's, oh, that's, mm, I hope we see that, honestly. That sounds fun. So we'll see what Adam has. It's time to put a skeleton yeah. into play. Case of the stash skeleton. Uh, so Patrick was changing the middle word there every time. So case of the spooky skeleton. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Yeah, that's better. I mean, it's it's spooky season soon, yeah? Was it because he didn't know the name of the no. card? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. absolutely. He just kind of went with it, you know? Love it, yeah. love it. So here is a great transmogrified target for one Adam Brace. Could turn that into a big old Vulgabath. If he uh, so chooses. So no land four, which is a big Man, deal. Yeah, that's rough. And uh, seeing if there is even a transmogrify in hand. Not sure yet. Critter, critter, critter. Any more? Nope, just some sheep damage. Getting in for two there. Really wanted to find land three and did. Uh -huh. Able to play hey, an elf. Okay. Ooh. Passing with four mana up, whatever could it be. All right, I did see transmogrify. Do we have land four? It doesn't look like it. More hand disruption in hand, though, for Adam. And Duress looking terrible against oh, the last yeah. time we looked at this. There just wasn't <laughs> a collected company. Well, some information. Yep. One Where mana bodyguard. Peak. Yep. That's uh, the only new addition to hand here for Zevin. But it is a flash spell, so, yep. you know, see that on the end step and... Uh, get another card off of our Enduring Innocence. I mean, the Werefox body Bodyguard is actually quite good right now, being able to exile a creature in response to mm -hmm. a Transmogrify. So if Zevin just leaves that up, 
you know, yeah. for the rest of the game, you can't actually transmogrify. But the thing that Adam can do is if there's always three mana, well, then Adam gets to play the kind of mid-range style deck that Rakdos Transmogrify is capable of doing, just kill a creature, kill a creature, and then once there's no battlefield and Zevin has to play something, then you Transmogrify yeah. is Killing. the ideal kind of plan. Killing Daring Traveler hits the board now. Two, three, four, two mana, which is pretty neat. Attack Trigger being uh, the most useful thing about Kalen over here. Yeah. Getting to uh, dig through the library even further, you know. So this deck certainly has no shortage of ways to refill the hand. Yeah. Yeah, this deck definitely got a shot in the arm with the Enduring Innocence. You yeah, know, that sure. is a, a card that I never really thought we'd even see kind of even in standard, but yeah. it does make sense that it's a little bit better with Collected Company. Yeah, you know, it's like kind of Mentor of the Meek vibes. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, and if you get Enduring <laughs> if you get enduring Innocence with another card off a company, it does trigger as well. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, that is. That's very, very sweet indeed. As we're going to see Obnixilus Cyphus Red. <laughs> Getting all dramatic-like here. A copy being made too by chowing on those Skeletors. I like that. That's going to solve the cases. And now, it, it is pretty slow when you're stuck on three mana to be like, well, I'm just going to sack this case mm -hmm. for a thought, or for a fatal push or whatever. Sure. Um, but you do get some devils here on the battlefield if Adam so chooses, and you have some chump blockers. Zevin says no. The cases are cracked. So our Werefox bodyguard did take care of that devil. So no blockers. I don't think these odd Nixies are uh, long for this world here, friend. Yeah, if Zevin even cares, At, you know. I, I mean, is that 12? What's that? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage? It, I could easily just see attacking the odd Nixless that has 3 loyalty because it can make a creature. But sure. outside of that, you take up. Yep. Zevin's just going to be like, yeah, I'll take 2, whatever. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay, even Interrupter. <laughs> Surprise, I have a flash spell. That's great. That's a cool card, yeah. I mean, Transmogrify on the stack, then all yeah. of a sudden it's not on it's, the stack. Yeah, and you don't get to cost until your next turn. This game looks over. Get plotted, basically, is what uh, <laughs> even Interrupter says. Adam Brace in a pretty terrible way right now, and we might just see another 10-minute match here, honestly. Yeah, really might be. <laughs> And just game already. We off we go to the races sideboard time. Corey, what the hell is Adam Bray supposed to do here? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean this shouldn't be that terrible of a ma of a matchup for uh, Adam, but when you don't draw lands, it does get a little trickier. So, mm -hmm. um, looking at Adam's sideboard, the thing I love the most, Path of Peril looks mm -hmm. excellent. It's going to kill basically every creature. Hitagetsu consumes all, can deal with all the elves, but otherwise it's very narrow. Um, we have Extinction Event to be able to be excellent because most of Zevin's deck is going to be odd. Yep. So that's going to be great. Nowhere to run another good removal spell. So I would be pretty keen to bring in at least those four, Path yeah. of Peril, Extinction Event, Nowhere to Run. Probably want to get out any duresses you have. We saw how terrible yeah, that was. Useless. I mean, they can hit Collected Company, but if that's really it. And then looking over to this really cool, innovative Celestia Company deck from Zevin. Uh, as far as I saw on Twitter, um, there was three people playing the deck, playing the exact 75. Uh, it looked like there were two X2s and an X3, something like that. Maybe there was an X1 in there. But either way, this new innovative deck, uh, three people playing it, three people made it to day two. Zevin's in the hunt here to make it to the elimination rounds. Got to say, they kind of did it. That's sweet. Yeah, that is very cool because yeah. every time we see a company deck, we're preparing ourselves to be bitterly disappointed. Because yeah, yeah. it always whiffs. It just <laughs> never, ever works. Hey, it doesn't whiff, Ailey. It oh. rearranges the bottom yeah. six cards of your library. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, that's... It's, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty poopy. Let's put it that Some, way. But sometimes this time it around, has. this looks... This looks like it's got game, you know? Yeah. And sitting at 12 and 2, I think Zevin is proving just that. Yeah, pretty cool. So looking at uh, Zevin's sideboard, there's a Gideon ally of, ally of Zendikar, which I have not seen mm -hmm. in years. I mean, what year is it? Uh, yeah. That's that's a spicy one. Um, you have the Werewolf Bodyguard, which is a decent threat up against the Transmogrify plan. Yep. Basically, every bit of Zevin's sideboarding is going to be in response to, I can't let you have Valgavoth. Yeah. So we might see Elite Spellbinder as a good way to negate that. Anointed Peacekeeper is fine. Werewolf Bodyguard's great. You don't want cards like Brutal Cathar because that's a sorcery way to deal mm -hmm. with it. 
Um, you know, your opponent could always just go land five, animate Mutavolt, transmogrify the Mutavolt. Yeah. So uh, anything at instant speed is what I would be a fan of. Speaking of uh, terrifying things, that image down on the screen there, screens, I should say, yeah. advertising SCG Con Columbus. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be a terrifying event, we hope. Uh, November 15th to 17th, if you want to come and hang out with us, SCG Columbus is where you'll find the next Star City Games hosted event. It'll be great. <laughs> come hang out. There's plenty of action coming in from SCG Con, so go and check out the website, sign up for the newsletter. And uh, you'll know all about them. That looks like your stream room, right? You got a lot of monitors. Oh, there. no. What, you just I, got two? No, three? I have three. I okay. Technically four. Okay, there we go. That yeah. looks exactly like but your stream room, that's, then. That's more just for editing these days. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. You gotta have all the monitors, okay? I still tuned into a lot of Alias V streams you back did, in the yeah. day. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice stuff. Is that, your, is, that your, <laughs> is that your screensaver as well? That uh, oh. creepy... No. Who yeah. uses a screensaver <laughs> anymore, Corey? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Put your PC to sleep. I still use the screensaver, you know, where it's just something bonks into the side oh, yeah? and it keeps the, going. The, the DVD menu? Exactly. Oh, right. From, you know, 1995. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes me feel at home. I'm so happy for you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, boy. These players. <laughs> I'm just watching the guys in the background there, too. You know, big things happening in that matchup. Yeah, that's another win and in. We'll be getting mm -hmm. to that in its entirety after this, y'all. So, uh, you know, have no fear. We'll be yeah. showing you all the winning in magic at our normal speed. As this is the last Ooh. round before the top eight. Just a, a, a preview for that one. It is Seamus Callahan versus Corey Lack. Mono black midrange. Woohoo! Up okay. against Rakdos Cauldron. Okay, that's the tree made it. terrible weekend uh, outside of uh, Corey here. But yeah. That should be pretty sweet. Yeah, that should be really good. And, you know, just seeing in our feature match area, in our winning in magics, mm -hmm. four different decks. That's Pioneer cool. rocks. Yeah. It rocks. Our, uh, our, uh, uh, drawing ins, I guess. What yeah. were all of their archetypes? Yeah, let me take a peek. So our our top six players, well, we kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, we have in first, Ian, this was our, our dominant player, the only person that reached 13 wins. Is nice. it Phoenix? Is it Phoenix in second? Mm -hmm. Rakdos Transmogrify in third, uh, Enigmatic Incarnation. Mm -hmm. We have that Azorius Lotus Field yes, in the hands sweet. of Patrick, and then Rakdos Agro. So, nice. as it stands, there's only going to be two of an archetype at most in the top eight, and it's two yeah. Phoenix decks, maybe two Rakdos uh, Transmogrify decks. So, an incredible, incredible top eight. Very diverse and very cool. Let me check the Brazil one because there was also only two of. Was it the? Is it Phoenix two? I no, I don't think so. I think it was just two blue white controls. But speaking of that, no traditional blue white control. The most played deck. I don't even know if this Azorius Lotus Field deck was even grouped into the Azorius controls. Yeah. So, all right, but looks like we are underway. Let's get things cracking here. We're going to just kick a couple things off of the board. Goodbye, Elvish Mystic. No turn three collector company, but we will see a Kellen, and then we will say goodbye, Kellen, as No Way to Run gets rid of the Daring Traveler. Is there land three for Adam's Fable? I see the Fable, but no land three. Icky. Brutal. That's rough. Adam really needed that here Oof. because now the Peacekeeper is able to delay this fable the mirror breaker you know it's kind of funny you know every every color kind of has an archetype but now we're seeing counter spells in white we're seeing the hand disruption in white sure it's not permanent hand disruption but like yeah get rid of some of that stuff counter i don't like that it stuff you don't, I don't like it i don't like it no uh. absolutely not <laughs> these uh aggressive white creature decks are too good i lose yeah. to them too often old man yells at cloud yeah i don't play them often but uh <laughs> i do lose to them often and I'm going to Peacekeeper. It's also a beefy body on the board. Like 3-3 three, yeah. three Vigi, that's nothing to sniff at. Yeah, that's but a, it's dead, so it's fine. That's a card that's really good <laughs> that didn't get enough uh, credit. You know, kind of. It hasn't seen enough play, really. Yeah, Molten Collapse taking care of that guy. So, at least Adam doing a decent job of keeping control of the board. But, uh, yeah, Zevin is just ripping yeah. apart the hand. Velgavoth in hand there for Adam is really brutal. 
as uh, if if Adam draws the second one at any point, like just his deck yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, no, it does nothing. You have to rely on skeletons and hope for the best, which is <laughs> yeah. not great against the creature deck. It's terrible. Some of them run like one volcanic spite to be able to shuffle it away. Yeah, it doesn't look like. It I and I don't, I don't even love that. Like mm. if you just draw both. Chalk it up to uh, being unlucky, move on to the next game, but it would hurt if it's in yeah. your winning end game yeah, for yeah. sure. That would be rough. Because, yeah, there's no more magic after this for the person who loses. But you do have one bright side if that were What's to happen that? for Adam. Complaint equity at dinner. Yep. It's through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps a free drink from his buddies, you know, commiserations. One or two, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But it's not over till it's over, friendos. So let's uh, keep going here. Hopefully we'll find land number three. But as things stand, Zevon Faust is looking absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just brutal. Not picking up a land here. Another oh creature that can't block. Mm -hmm. Not great. Oh, Wondering Emperor coming in is just like, hello. Okay. Not the um, four drop spell I was expecting, but that's a yeah, one up in the sideboard. It's at instant speed. It either kills things or makes things, so you yeah. don't hate seeing it. We're sure. going to make a little samurai here, it seems. Yep. Gideons, Wandering Emperors, Collected Company. What is going on? <laughs> 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 There's our samurai, so, uh, <laughs> hey, I mean, they took, they did all that hard work on that infinite token. Let them have their doodles, <laughs> judges. Ah, <laughs> oh, real tokens? Real tokens? Boo. Just throwing skeletons at them. <laughs> Take these bones. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Gosh, now we have even more creatures down on the board here, just getting in for so much damage. That's what, six Vigi damage? Even if these skeletons wanted to attack, they couldn't. Zevin is out of cards, but once again, no land drop here for Adam. Oh, that is so rough. And I believe the torch is made more expensive by Anointed Peacekeeper. It's kind of hard to see which one. Usually you kind of keep it on the table. Yeah. Um, but Thalia's dealt with. And these skeletons can, I guess, attack Wandering Emperor, but you can just double block uh, one of them. Yeah, but what else are you going to do? Be sad is what I would go for here if I was in Adam's spot, unfortunately. So one skeleton yeah. down, down to one. Loyalty goes the Wandering Emperor. Anything fun drawn off the top there, Zevin? Sure. No clue what that is. Me neither. <laughs> Enhance. It's a three it's an mana. It's spellbinder. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Looks great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I mean, look at... It's a promo from something look or at, other. Look at Adam's hand. The best thing he was going to be able to do, even if he drew a land, was just play Fable. So I, yeah. I just think I think it's over. Crikey. That really sucks. You hate to see your tournament end like this, Adam. Commiserations, <laughs> friend. But Zevin Faust going to stick Selesnia Company in the top eight here. And it looks like Zevin had played a total of, like, 18 minutes in the last two rounds. Yeah. You know? You know, look at that. Just the easiest way to get into the top eight. Yeah. Playing so, so quickly. And, yeah. And, you know, congratulations, Zevin. We can actually hear the, the clapping across the room. That's rad. You know, especially when you got buddies that are on the decks, and I was yeah. kind of seeing it with uh, from chat that they were saying maybe there was about five people playing the yeah. deck, and they all did pretty well. So when you got that kind of collective company, I know, I know, that are just rooting for you and stuff, you got to be cheering for your buds. <laughs> Anybody else want to finish? Come in here. Yeah. No, really, really Bravo. cool Good stuff. Job. And great, great job uh, to Zevin being into the top eight. Really exciting awesome. stuff.